What a beautiful day for sports. Ha, <laughs> Pops, you look great to play basketball. I just hope nobody confuses you with the ball. <laughs> Groovy! I think they want you to play with them. He says you have to go there and play with the girls. <laughs> the basketball is for boys. That's not very nice. Although that boy deserved it a little. Should we explain to everyone why what that child did is wrong? Although some sports have traditionally been considered to be for boys and others for girls, the truth is we can all play whatever sport we want, regardless of our gender. The only rule is to have fun. That's a good idea, Phoebe. Ask the girls if they'd like to play basketball, too. Pay attention, boys. Girls also want to play basketball. Let's all play a game together. All right, let's see. We need a referee. Perfect. Pops will be our referee. Great. Oh, we're missing something to whistle the fouls. Groovy, could you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to help Pops to referee the match? A mixer? A whistle? Or a crown? Yes, a whistle! All right! What a thrill! The match is about to begin! The team to make the first three baskets wins! Understood? Ball for Phoebe, who passes it to Katie. Katie to Sarah. She makes a basket. All right, girls. Eric takes it out, passes the ball to James, James to Victor, and a basket for the kids. The game is on fire. There's a tie. The girls take out. Phoebe has the ball and throws it. What a basket! Spectacular! The boys take out. Ball for Eric. Phoebe takes it off. Foul! Eric commits a foul! Phoebe 
now has a chance to win the game. Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. Phoebe gets ready to shoot. Moments of maximum concentration. Shoot and... Mark. The girls win the game. Bravo. See how much fun it is to play boys and girls together with any sport. Oh, you've scored so much, Groovy. <laughs> What a beautiful day to learn at school. And what are you learning today? Ah, the basic emotions. Pops, shall we go over them again? Joyful, when a big smile is drawn on our faces. <laughs> Sad, if we can't help crying. Fearful, when we open our eyes and mouth wide. Scared. Ah. Angry, if we frown and pout. <laughs> Thanks, Bobs. Children, did you learn them? Very, very well. Great, then. The task for tomorrow is to bring a picture of every emotion learned today. Joyful, sad, fearful, and angry. The garden is a good place to take pictures, don't you think, kids? Great choice, Phoebe. The photo will have a beautiful background. Hey, Groovy, you are finally going to fulfill your dream of being a model. Pose for us. <laughs> All right. Now pretend you're super happy. Hey, you don't look really happy. Let's try better with sadness. Come on, Groovy. It's going to be more difficult than I thought. Pops has an idea to make the photos work. Provoke Groovy's emotions. But shh, it's better that Groovy doesn't know. What a scary pose, Groovy. Perfect picture. You already have one emotion, fear. Let's continue with the next one. Hmm. That broccoli looks great. How happy Groovy is. Oh no, it wasn't for you, Groovy. You're so sad. 
Great! Two emotions and one to go. Joy and sadness. We only have one left to complete the album. Oh no! The camera is broken! There is the missing emotion. Anger. What a pity that we can't take a picture of Phoebe, but... What about a drawing? Yes, you can draw anger in the album directly. What's the matter? Don't you have something to draw with? I see. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to draw on the album? A pearl necklace? A marker? Or a rugby ball? Yes, into a marker. Great. It's fantastic, Phoebe. The album is full. Homework done. You can play now. Oh, an A+. Plus. That's really something to be cheerful about, kids. Let's see those smiles. Cheer up, Groovy. You'll end up doing it well. What a beautiful day to play with all these toys. Groovy, watch out! <laughs> what a crash! Oh, what's wrong with Phoebe? Kids, could you tell me? How does Phoebe feel? Joyful? Fearful? Angry? Or sad? That's it. Phoebe is sad. Nice try. Oh, Phoebe must be very sad not to laugh with you. Groovy, it's okay if Phoebe's sad. Emotions aren't bad. They help us to know what we are feeling. We need to find out why Phoebe's sad. What's the matter, Phoebe? Why are you sad? Oh no, Snuggles is gone. Now we understand why Phoebe feels so sad. <laughs> Snuggles is her pet, and she loves him very much. Wait a minute, but Snuggles always leaves for a while. But you're worried because he hasn't come back yet. How long has he been gone? 
Don't worry, Phoebe. We're going to help you find him. Phoebe, have you looked around already? And the rest of the garden? Yes, the garden is very big and Snuggles is very small. We need help to find him quickly. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to find Snuggles? A toy truck? A helicopter? Or a slipper? Exactly! Into a helicopter! Great! are. He's stuck in the fence. Oh, so much love. How beautiful. I love stories with a happy ending. Phoebe has gone from being sad to joyful thanks to our friendship. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> Snuggles is having a great time. <laughs> and Groovy too! Wow! Those fresh fruit ice creams look really good! Delicious! Mmm! Phoebe's ice cream has two strawberry balls and Groovy's one, two, three, four, five balls of different fruit! So greedy! Be careful, Groovy! Oh, too bad! Ha <laughs> Groovy! It's not the wave's fault. Groovy, that's Phoebe's ice cream. She has to decide if she wants to share it with you or not. Very good, Phoebe. You should always share with your friends. Now you can both enjoy your fresh and healthy ice cream. Mmm. No. And now, keep enjoying the beach with friends. What a beautiful day to dive and see coral and colorful fish. Look how beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. Little by little, if you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, what is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. Animals can't live like this.
was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it. It's a mermaid. Let's follow her, kids. She's gone in there. Where is she gone? There she is. Poor thing. She's crying. Children, let's try to cheer her up. The mermaid is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? Children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine! Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. What a beautiful day to go to the beach. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I love how you use the beach wraps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing light clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm, the cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Oh, are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, Phoebe, you're getting sunburned. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt, and you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburned easily. Pops, 
Help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburned. 1. Use sunscreen several times during the day. 2. Use caps or hats. 3. Protect your eyes with sunglasses. And 4. Stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect! Now we need something to cover your head. Great! And what else? Bright, cool sunglasses! You're ready to keep playing! Groovy, what's wrong? Oh no, the wave stole a cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack. Fresh summer fruit. Watermelon, nectarine, melon. We have to get it back. Hmm, what can we do? I know, Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good! Into a paddle boat! Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. You're doing it great. Less is left. Keep moving. Very good. Watch out, a wave. Yay, it's already yours. Now to the beach. Good, you've done it, kids. Now, snack time! Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? Children, we're losing control! God, the spacecraft works like a submarine. Whoa, the seafloor is beautiful. Children, what was that? What is it? What is it? A mermaid! Come on, guys. We have to go and meet her. Oh, we can't go in. Phoebe wants to take a picture with the mermaids. Groovy, will you help us? Come on, Phoebe, get in. They want to meet you. Ready? Three, 
two, one, fishes! Wow! What a beautiful day to paint a picture. And what are you going to paint? Um, a ball, a bucket, and a shovel, a fire truck toy, and a dinosaur. And do you know what kind of dinosaur it is, children? But you do know what a dinosaur is, don't you? No? Pops, shall we explain it to them? Dinosaurs lived on the Earth long time ago, before humans and Martians, about 250 million years ago. There were different types, such as the Diplodocus, with a very long neck, the Velociraptor, which ran super fast, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the most feared of all, or the Triceratops, with three striking horns, that one then, what kind is it, children? Indeed, a Triceratops. Pops, please don't tell me you're taking them to the Jurassic to paint real dinosaurs. Am I the only one who thinks this is a bad idea? I see, all right, to the Jurassic period then. Wow, how nice the Jurassic period is in this time of the year. A real Triceratops? You already have a new friend and a model for your paintings. You can paint him. Oh, it must be the mother. We'd better be polite and ask her if she'd like to pose for us. Mrs. Triceratops, we're painting. Would you be kind enough to pose for us? Thank you very much. You'll be portrayed very well by our little artists. Earthquake! Typical living in the Jurassic period. Children, be careful. Poor thing, we have to take him back to his mother. But how? Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the baby dino? Into a racket? An inflatable ball? Or a helicopter? Yes, into a helicopter. Fantastic. We have to hurry. Another earthquake could come. Well done. Groovy to the rescue. Very good. You saved the baby dinosaur. Time to go home. What an adventure, kids. Did you get a chance to paint something? Wonderful. You're great painters. Besides, You've helped someone who needed it. I'm proud of you. Groovy, you're a painting. 